So here you can see the Guangsheng UVK5 with uh, hacked firmware and uh, this is uh, actually the new one the new firmware and the main change between uh, this one and the previous one on my previous video is that we can input the frequency uh, directly uh, from the keyboard and then change the modulation from FM to single sideband directly from the keyboard so this is much easier to listen single sideband AM or FM signals with this new firmware and the quality of the SSB reception is the same the main thing is also that the AM modulation has been improved so there is no uh, problem with uh, AM reception let's say on on the airband uh, so no more the problem with poor AM quality here you can see uh, a beacon on 10 meters okay so the filter uh, width you can change in uh, four steps by long press of the five button you can see the icon right under the frequency readout uh, right there is a N minus which means a narrow minus and the long press of the five button it will go and change So as you can see that there is a really nice, a really nice difference between a wide filter and a narrow filter. So the another feature is that we can finally uh, change the modulation by long press of the zero button between FM. AM and single sideband you don't need to go to menu and uh, set it another feature is that we can change the AGC time so by pressing number one button long press the one button it will change to MO I'm not sure what is actually MO then we have fast and slow AGC so long press of the one button okay and there is also um, ability to change tuning step but in this case it depends on the modulation on an actual modulation you have selected on your receiver on your transceiver as you can see here um, I'm uh, currently in FM mode and long press of the 9 button you will see that the, the step will be changing this is 25 kilohertz 5 kilohertz 6.25 12.5 25 kilohertz 5 kilohertz and so on if you go to AM mode long press of the 9 button 2.5 kilohertz 5 kilohertz 6.25 500 hertz 2.5 kilohertz 5 kilohertz and then if we change to the uh, single sideband 5 kilohertz 20 Hertz 100 Hertz 1 kilohertz 5 kilohertz 20 Hertz so another very interesting uh, feature is that if you go to the menu and if you go to step there you can see um, plenty of steps like um, 
5 kilohertz, 6.25, 8.33 for an, for an airband, 10 kilohertz, 12.5 kilohertz, 25 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, 1 megahertz, and then back to 20 hertz, 50 hertz, 100 hertz, 500 hertz, 1 kilohertz, 2.5 kilohertz, and so on. So by this feature, you can use actually 8.33 kilohertz if you go to menu and if you select the step. And also, let me show you the menu. If you go to menu, number one is the squelch, step, mode. If you go to mode, you can also select desired uh, modulation you like. Bandwidth, you can see the wide, wide plus, narrow minus and narrow. The power between high, middle and low. CTCSS and DCS settings, I think it's standard. This is for repeaters, offset. You can choose what you wish to be showed on the screen, name and frequency. Scrambler, microphone gain, 15 dB, 12 dB, 8 dB, 4 dB, and 1 dB. Microphone bar, this is for transmission. I, I have turned it on. Compound, I don't know for what is it used. Scan list. Yeah, there are many settings, I have no idea uh, what they are here for. And here is the info of the version I'm using now. IJV mode version 2.3R5. Battery saver and also you can choose between S meter or RSSI in DB. I'm usually using this uh, S meter. SATCOM is turned on. Up converter preset and also here the AGC between fast, manual and slow. TX VFO, which VFO can be used for transmission and dual receiver like a dual watch squelch level and so on well there is also uh, the noise on 15 meters as you can see but the very interesting feature is this uh, LED uh, the function of the LED a little changed in receive mode you can see that uh, the rhythm of the LED blinking is um, or depends on the signal you receive. And the same is in the uh, CW mode. Okay, as you can hear also the clicks between tuning which I don't like.
And the monitoring frequency for 11 meters, 27555, single sideband. But today the band is in not a really good shape. If you are on CB, you don't or you can't transmit with this radio anymore with this firmware it says that TX disable TX disable this is happening also if you are out of VHF UHF bands wherever you are um, it's not possible to transmit anymore with this firmware in this case is this like the uh, receiver only with this new firmware you can also transmit on the SATCOM frequency and of course on the VHF and UHF amateur radio bands I changed to my uh, Rattel tactical antenna which is dual band antenna but receives uh, very well also on airband and also you can use you can use it also on on 10 meter band 12 meter band and as you see that the AM Modulation has been improved in this firmware finally. I am reception is just a joy to listen. You can receive also single sideband on 2 meters or FM or AM modulation. I mean the packet frequency 144 800 and uh, time to time sporadically you can hear signals from packet radio or the APRS I connected this mini loop antenna to this uh, Guangsheng UVK5 and uh, I'm currently on 11 meters band Yeah, there's still noise from the FM broadcast, which is a um, very strong transmitter close to my area. It is maybe 15, 20 kilometers straight from my QTH. So the band conditions today are not really nice. Installation of the firmware is very simple. You just need to connect your radio uh, via this um, uh, cable 
data cable to your computer install the driver driver you can also find on the official website for Kuangsheng and then just uh, open the link uh, which is down below select comport you created before and then just um, push the start button and everything is done after one minute so it's really really simple uh, the bootloader or boot up is that you need to push the PTT button and turn on the radio the LED lamp should be uh, shining so uh, in this mode is the radio um, ready to flash the firmware thanks very much guys for watching and uh, 73 and also the satcom frequencies 